Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video of... Why am I talking this low? Welcome back to another video of uh, Columbus Aviators franchise. We're here in the offseason. The moment I've been waiting for the fucking most. Finally done with the season. Our team, I mean, we were a pretty <laughs> damn good team. I think we were. We're in the offseason now. This is where we really improved the team. And they're telling us our top needs as a quarterback... Uh, wide receiver and guard. I would, I would agree. Quarterback, um, we might have to stick with Wes. Who knows? He might even be upgraded. We have to uh, keep advancing. Nothing we really have to do here, but continue advancing. And the Pro Bowl is this week. We're actually going to see if we have any Pro Bowlers. Not going to play it. Not what it's about, in my opinion. We were on the NFC side. And our quarterback did not make it, but somehow Jarrett did. Receiver. Crosby made it, so he might get a dev up to star, I think. He might be star already. I'm not too certain about that. Really? I, I at least thought uh, Belton would make it. Then again, he's not like a top league, but I mean, as a rookie, he played well. None of our DTs. Yeah, none of our players really made it. That kind of sucks. Yeah, that's kind of ass. Mendoza made it, though. Okay. He's a pro bowler. <laughs> All right. I mean, Mendoza is there, uh, and Sidney Crosby is there. So, I'm not... I, like, too mad at it. Jets and Rams are in the Super Bowl. Interesting. Super Bowl 77. Jesus. That's a long time. Let's look at yearly awards. Actually, I want to look at it this way so I can look at season stats. We're going to look at awards first and then stats. MVP, Kevin Heron. Weird name. Good for you. Of the 11 and 6 Jags. Don't think we have any MVP candidates. No, we do not. Let's move on. Offensive player of the year is Mitch Jarrett. Good for him. No aviators. Defensive player of the year is Dom Clifton with the 7 and 10 Seahawks. No aviators. Offensive rookie of the year is Marvin West. Let's go. That's exactly what I wanted. And coming in fourth is John Hudges, which also I do like. And last, Cam Gibson. Interesting. Defensive rookie is Mark Crease Belton. Even though he missed the last two or three games. I'm starting to think he might be injury prone, but then again, maybe that was just like bad luck. I don't know. Because he did miss like a couple games before that. Not a couple. I think he missed like a game and a half before that. I'm not too sure, but he didn't win Defensive Rookie of the Year, so he possibly could go to Superstar, possibly. And Pat Hobbs is 10th, not bad. Best QB, are we got votes? No, we do not, interesting. I think he played well in the second half. Uh Oh, we actually got votes for Jaquan Smith, the best running back, not too bad. And Sidney Crosby was third. You know, he fucking led the league in receiving yards by a mile. That's all right, though. Best O-line. Don't think you're going to see us here. You're not. Best D-line. Will you see us? You see Belt Beltran. I keep getting Belton. Well, you see both of the Bells. The Bell brothers. Linebackers? Don't think so. DBs? Don't think so. Kickers? Don't think so. Punters. I think we were pretty good at punting. I don't even think it was. I don't even think that one was punters. All right, let's check out our end of season stats. He finished the year with over four thousand yards and above thirty picks and uh, touchdowns. So, not the best. Under sixty completion percentage. Not good, but hey, he played well in the second half. Though. I wish you could see that. Like, <laughs> they show stats for that. So both Wes and um, Jaquan Smith just under a thousand yards each. So Wes could have had that would have been a nice stat to have a thousand yard season with both uh, passing well above a thousand yards both 
passing and with the legs. Don't know how I said with the legs like that. Receiving, like, he was the only guy. I guess because he played in a slot most of the year, but he was literally the only guy. Next guy is the tight end. It's like, but I mean, a lot of people did get touchdowns. Like, a lot of people did get multiple touchdowns. Which you do like to see. Next season, we will up it, though. Trust me. Defense is where we absolutely shine, though. We're only one person with above 100 tackles, which is nice. Tackles for loss, though? You have about three. You could, could argue four. No, that's actually five. <laughs> but almost five people with 10 or more tackles for loss, which you love to see. Belton had a good year. He had 17 tackles for loss and 11 sacks. Beltran right behind him with 14 tackles for loss and 13 sacks. But you know if Belton would have played in those last two or three games, he would have definitely... He probably could have got up to 15. What I feel personally. Interceptions. Interesting. Rickard had four. Not even like DB of the year votes or cornerback of the year. Cam Dunn had three. And also did Ben Ward. Uh, we'll see if any of our players get upgraded. I am hoping... No, he won Offensive Rookie of the Year. What? You think that shit funny? You think I'm a fucking joke? You just get XP for that? There's no way. That's so horrible. That's shitty. I don't. I don't really like that, bro. James Mendoza is only star, so there's that. He will get more playing time next year. I I would like to think. Did anybody get, I mean, how's been that? Yo, nobody got upgraded? Are you kidding me? I'm letting a lot of nut shit slide because I'm in a good mood, shit, there, but I definitely do see the nut shit, shit, you've been sad all day, you feel me? I'm trying to be thorough. I don't <laughs> like, you feel me? Like that's crazy. Nah, that's wild. Nobody? I'm like, all right, m maybe they changed, like, the when you could get upgraded. Nah, it's just like they didn't. That is horrible. Just end up losing Super Bowl 35 to 42. Rams are your Super Bowl champs. Funny how they won it in real life last year. And they won it this year in the game. Kind of funny. That is wild. They didn't give him anything. Offense rookie of the year and defense rookie of the year. And they don't give them no devops? Is that not a thing anymore? All right, I'm... All right, I just got to get over it. Just get over it. I'm really mad for Wes. I'm not going to lie. That's who I'm really mad for, Wes. Because, come on, bro. If anybody deserves it, it is fucking Wes. All right, this is going to be our last chance to re-sign people that we're going to want on this team next year. I'm not going to lie. Cody Gardner. or oh, Carter. I said Gardner. Cody Gardner. I like. I liked him a lot. He played good in that like outside linebacker spot. Obviously, his coverage is to be desired, but he's a little speedy, man. And he's kind of good at tackling, good at getting to the. He was I mainly seen him on like run plays, but he's very good at getting there. And I'm, I'm gonna be willing to give him a contract. We have 143 million, so he's 28. Not really going to get much better than this, but <sighs> he's not asking for a lot. Like, he asked for significantly lower than I'm willing to pay him. So, I'm... It, see? Yeah. Brian Merriweather, I kind of want to keep you. But you are 29, and you're kind of asking for a little bit of money. It's not that much, but it's like, I don't know. The age... I'm going to actually just let you walk and possibly re-sign your free agency. We'll bring back this left tackle. Not ask for a lot. We'll be asking for, like, dirt cheap. Put you on a three-year deal. Give you six mil. DT. Possibly. You could be backups. Give them a year. Like, these people are not asking for a lot of money. I can't argue with it. Ben Ward, I'm going to say no. You did have, like, some, like, close to the most picks on the team, but I'm going to just say no. 
Goldstein, you actually did play well for us. So I kind of, I'm, I'm going to tell myself I owe you a contract. I give you a two-year deal right under five. Damn, he don't want that. You was acting for a year, though, like, and I give you two. And he's like, nah, all right. <laughs> Maybe we sign you a free agency. Tarpley, wow, like, you're fast, but also you're very old. Sorry, can't do that. Chip Graves, I know you could cover. I know for a fact you're a good cover guy. Actually, you're not, but you're fast. I'll still give you a contract, though. I'll give you a mail. Oh my god. You guys are crybabies, bro. You was, you was acting for 900k and I gave you a mail. Oh my god. Cullen, come back to the team. Don't cry about it. Thank you. Like, see, I like people like you, bro. Keenan, you're coming back. Give you a three-year deal. Thank you. Like, be smart about it, bro. We're going to be fucking good next year. And the rest of the people are going to be able to walk, and maybe we'll look for them in free agency. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Am I about to get dashboard? Not dashboard, but am I about to get uh, kicked off the server? Yeah, I feel like I'm about to get kicked off the server. I don't know what's happening right now. I'm getting a little frustrated now. I don't know what's happening. Why is it taking so long? All right, you're actually here. Hey, if you are new here, click the subscribe button. It's telling me that I think 88% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. I mean, you can always unsubscribe later if you don't enjoy this content right now or future content that I do post. Hit the subscribe button. Now, are there going to be good people here? It looks like there's a decent amount of people here, like a decent bit. Now, I could honestly just... Take a quarterback from here. Like, I could take Matt Johnson. He, he's an X-Factor. He's probably pretty good, right? But I don't want to do that. I want to build up a young player from the draft. Like, that's what I like to do. But I just don't think we're going to be able to really do that right now. Now, we could just snag a really good running back. Like, how do you even say this name? Bart Dumaine? I guess. Like, I could just snag him, right? Pay him 33 mil over three years. He's 31. Still a very good running back. Fast. Like, he still can be a... He, wow, he's actually really good. Like, I'm just... I was just talking. I'm like, I'm not looking, but... Jeez, he's actually really good. What team was he on last year? I feel like we faced him. Probably didn't. Like, I could very well just do that, right? But I don't know. I don't think that's one of our needs. I think our running back played decent enough. Not not the best, but decent enough. I think one of our biggest needs is receiver. And I do plan on going after receiver in this draft. But I don't know. We need size. That's the biggest thing. Like, even this guy would be very good. 29, 84 overall. 6'2", 222. Probably has very good raw skills. Speed is good. Catching is good. His route running somewhere in the middle. Release has jumping ability that is crazy. See, I like that, but 54 mil? I don't know about that. Oh, you want to pause? That. Okay, I, I know, don't about, know that. about that. You don't, don't know, know about that. I don't know about that. I don't that. know about that. Let me I think I might spend the money on Zach Ross. He's 6'3", 28, 233. Yeah, I'm going to spend the money on Zach Ross. He's only asking for, like, under 20. That's that's my offer, bro. I'm not giving you more than 22. That's just what it is. I don't think I should actually sign any more, like, another receiver because we already have plenty of receivers that we're still going to use on this team. All right, I just put an offer out on uh, Stanley Edson. Just a good uh, value. 30 years old, 77 overall. It's going to be better than the players from we have there right now. Obviously, I think we're playing somewhere out of position there. So, we'll, we'll fix that. But he only wanted, like, a lower than four mil. So, I'm like, I might as well do that. I don't think we need help on the edges. We have Beltran and then uh, 
about 10 on the other side. And maybe DTs could use help, but I don't know yet. I really don't. And for linebackers, we need someone that just could play coverage, bro. That's what it is. And by the looks at it, none of these guys are cover linebackers. Like, our best bet is getting the middle linebacker and then playing him out of position. And funny enough, all these guys that I'm willing to take are not really that good. I mean, Perry Stackhouse looks pretty decent. Phil General type. I might give him a contract. How much are you asking for? Oh, you're asking for a dirt cheap. Get on the team. These guys are, like, acting for very low money. Oh, my God. 70-something zone. I love that. Get on the team, Clay McDonald. Why is that your name? <laughs> and we kind of want to get younger at these positions. Because the older people we had just wasn't it, man. He's only asking for 15 mil. I'm not going to lie. I'm willing to give him 15 mil. Are, are you good, though? Yeah, you're pretty good. You're not the best, but you're pretty good. I'll up it a little bit. 15.5. And I think that's all I'm willing to offer on anybody. 9.3 speed is not bad. 85 zone. I'm not going to lie. You could be on a team. Now, I just want you for a year, though. Yeah, no one's really offering you either, so don't even, like, try to argue. 86 speed is not bad, but I want guys that's going to fly around the field. 91 speed, 68 zone. The zone just needs work, but you're, you're kind of worth it at that 91 speed. It's either their speed is, like, whatever, and then their zone is good, or their zone is horrible and their speed is fantastic. 97 kick power? Yep, we need someone just like that. <laughs> need someone just like that because the kicker we got now is not it bro another one with 97 kick power welcome to the team all right we have well this is all of our um basically the contracts we let out uh cornerback a kicker wide receiver punter left tackle left guard no linebacker free safety no linebacker and another safety, right? So we're going to advance, see what we get, see what we don't. And with what we get, we obviously will make some trades in the middle of it too for some picks maybe. So I see a whole lot of accepted. The left tackle accepted, the strong safety accepted, the cornerback accepted, the middle linebacker accepted. The punter accepted, the left guard accepted, wide receiver accepted, kicker, middle linebacker, and free safety. That kind of sounds like everybody offered a contract to. Obviously, we will check what else we got. I think that's it. Yeah, we don't have anybody else we really signed. So we can kind of look to get rid of people now. So we currently have the 8th pick and 12th pick in the first round. A couple second round picks, thirds, fourths, you know. Wes, we're going to have to stay with you for a little while. I just wish you could have got upgraded to star. It's fucked up that you didn't, but hey, we're going to come back stronger next year. And look, you're even playing up a little bit. You Like, these stats don't look bad. Dope Power could be like, I wish it was like a 92, but it's not that bad. Jaquan Smith, I was thinking about replacing you, but I'm going to stick with you because you played very good in that second half. I'm giving y'all a lot. No. That's very interesting that y'all say no to that. I'm giving a lot. That's crazy. I'm putting the eighth pick, Sidney Crosby, and uh, Terran Mays. First overall pick. Will y'all do this? They actually do. We get the first overall pick from sending the 12th Crosby and... Terra Mays to them. Maybe I could have got a second round out of that. Maybe not. We don't know. Oh, all right. So maybe like 20th, right? 20th might be able to do it. 24th, not really interested. 
21st. I think they're definitely going to say yes. I'm going to throw in the second round next year for that. I don't think our franchise is going to go that long, but you never know. So they're definitely going to say yes to that. Dimitri Tarpley. Imagine they do that. Nah, he's too good. That's why. I'm like, will they let me get away with that? Brian Ash? Pretty old. What about Chris Gilchrist? He's in horrible. How tall is he? 6'5". Hello. Man, what? Yeah, I'm willing to do that. <laughs> We're trading away Jose Hills. Uh... Something gross. I already forgot his name. A second round pick for the 21st uh, first round pick and a 6'5 stud of a receiver. Gilchrist. I like it. I'm not going to lie. I really do. That's just that. That's a steal. Like a total steal. Not only did we get like the 21st pick, we also got a 6'5 receiver. Obviously not that fast, but he doesn't need to be. He's 6'5". Yeah, I might go look for like a left end, and that's about it, honestly. Oh, man. This guy looks pretty good. A1 finesse move, 88 speed, 90 strength. Like, I think he can be a good backup, and I think I am going to trade for him. I'm not trading a... Fuck, I just <laughs> went back by accident. I'm going to trade a pick. No picks this year, though. I'll see if they go for a third and a fourth. And they're close. Third, fourth, and fifth. So, yep, they do that trade. I traded him for a third, fourth, and fifth next year. Basically, just a steal. Just got him for death, really. And I am cool. I think we can move on to the draft now. Let's go ahead and look at the team. I do need to move some players around, though. But other than that, I am cool by the way the team looks. We're great at receiver. Um, offensive line looks pretty good, if I say. Yeah, looks pretty good. All right, we're going to move on to the draft, I think. Nothing else we need to really do. All right, big decision. We got a fifth year option on the table. But who would it, who's this for? Oh, it's Gilchrist, the guy we just signed. Yes, of course. Yeah, he's really good, bro. So we don't got to negotiate next year. Honestly, I don't think the series is going to go on to next year. I think we're going to get into the midseason part of this series, well, in season two, and then we're going to have to cut it short. We have another fifth-year option. Who is this for? Brian Roosevelt. Oh, yeah, just, yeah, we're picking up that fifth-year option for sure. I think that's, like, my center. We're not trying to get into no contract talks. All right, we got private workouts. I think I know who I want to work out. It's obviously going to be Miles Franklin. Um, ben Johnson. And I was going to say Matthew Long, but not really. Actually, we don't need to even do Ben Johnson because he's already like 75% completed. Why would we do that? We'll do Robert Reese. He's not really on our board, but Robert Reese wouldn't be horrible. Now nah, let's not do Robert Reese. Let's do Pierre Lincoln. I kind of want to do another corner, honestly. There's not that many good ones in here anyway. And Aaron Greenwood. That's what we're going to do. Why did I just say no? All right, we did our three workouts. Is it going to show them? Or do I have to advance a week? Bro, don't do this fucking loading forever shit, man. Come on. I don't remember who we scouted early. I'm not going to lie. I forgot already. We do have the number one overall pick. 
are we using that pick or are we trading down? Would y'all be willing to give me a first, what, a second pick and a second round pick? They're close on that. Jackman, that's who it is. No. Oh, my God. I would just like a second round back, though. Come on. Okay. Um. Let's just do the first round. Let's just do the first round. I let them take the first round pick. I mean, the first overall pick. I'm saying first round. And whatever. They take Miles Franklin. Um, in a way, expected that. Was not too sure on him. He probably is a fantastic receiver. But, I mean, now that frees it open to take who we really want to take. Not Ben Ward. I think that was actually... Ben Ward was another person on our team that we just traded away. We're going to take Ben Johnson. He looks fantastic, man. 6'4", 250. We look like he can absolutely fly. And he has B-man cover, so his zone... I'm not going to say it's supposed to match, but... Will it be that far off? Is this a bad draft pick? I don't think so, man. I don't think so. We're going to take Ben Johnson with the second overall pick. Is that a good... Thing to do. What what is our next draft pick? The eighth. Is Ben our guy? It's just a bunch of tackles coming up in guards. I I'm willing to take this pick. And he's hidden dev. He's not bad. Speed is not exactly the best, but he's not a horrible pick. We're going to move on from the 8th, or to the 8th. We'll just see who gets picked. They take a guard, good. I don't really care about the guards. That's not where my focus is in this draft. They take another guard. You love to see that. Yeah, I skipped all the way to the next user pick. And they take another guard. Um, I'm guessing that all those picks were just guard picks. <laughs> and tackles, obviously. And we'll see who's left here. Well, I'm having loading issues today, bro. All right, there's nobody showing for me to pick. What's going on? That's why. So in this spot, anybody could really be taken. It's not going to be a bad pick either way. I'm not going to lie. I don't necessarily like Roderick Marshall here. Once again, he's not horrible, but he's going to be a good overall, but I just don't know if that's my guy right now. And my next pick is going to be like 20-something. Is Doug Fox going to last here? I don't think so. Is Doug Fox the player? I like his what he offers, bro. He has good short route. Good catching. Uh, spec is good. Spin is decent. He's not going to have the best overall, but at 6'2", 207, he might be the pick. And I think I'm going to take him here with the eighth overall pick. And he's normal, but I kind of like what he offers. The speed is it's not flying, but 9'3 speed, you can't go wrong with. 89 jumping at 6'2". Not bad. Change of direction is even pretty good. It's not a horrible pick, but obviously you want him to have a hidden dev. I kind of like um, Quincy um, <laughs> Kletman's. I don't know what that says. But I do think he's our guy. I like the A awareness already. The A pursuit is already telling me a lot. Obviously, he's not going to have good catching or zone for that matter. Our man coverage, but I mean, he might be our guy. How is he looking? Six foot three, two forty four. Pretty fast for a linebacker in this draft, and we take him. And you know, not the best, but I like some of the things he does. He has really good jumping for a linebacker, and pretty good speed too. I think I'm going to take Larry Moreland from right here. 
I kind of like what he offers a little bit. Right on the brink of 200 pounds, 6'5". Looks like he can move with the best of them. He's wonderful. He is the fastest DT in the class. Top 10 in uh, um, bench press. Not bad. I think he offers a lot. We're going to take him here. Normal. I think he'll, 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 he'll be a good depth player for sure. But other than that, I don't know where where we place him on the team. I don't know. I don't know who to take right here. I'm just so lost right now. I'm just taking lineman here. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know who to take, bro. I just don't. Took another receiver just because I, I, I'm kind of lost right now. I just don't know what I want. Took a left end. Just a random selection at this point. Because I don't know why I'm still drafting. Like myself, I don't know why I'm doing it to myself. Do I think I made some bad picks? Not really. I think everybody who I'm picking is going to see the field at least a little bit. He's not even that bad, honestly. What round are we in? Fifth? Jesus, bro. Don't even know why I picked him. Skipping to the end of the draft. There's only another round in there, but yeah, we skipped to the end of the draft. We're going to see our draft picks. See how they're looking. I think we did pretty good. Obviously, we didn't. There was there's, it wasn't really the players we wanted in the draft. But that yeah, that's just what it was, bro. It just it just wasn't. I don't feel like this was that good of a draft, honestly. Like Ben Johnson, pretty good. Not a zone man. He's more of on the line type of guy. But I mean, what's your overall at like right end? That's my question. Still 74. That's not bad. And I mean, your, your, your attributes even look better when you're at a right end. So I think that's what we're going to do to him. We're going to make him a right end. He might need to bulk up a little bit, but I'm not going to lie. At 6'4", 250, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Now, Doug Fox wasn't a hidden dev, but he was a pretty good um, overall, starting at 77. And his attributes are not even that bad. He will be inserted into the lineup immediately, but we might have a trade in our hands. I don't know yet. Uh, Quincy Clements. Kind of, I don't know. Once again, you might even have to go on the line, too. At 244, because you can't cover, bro. That's just what it is. You can't cover. 73, but does your stats take a hit? Not really. You're actually pretty good there, too. Like, if we draft a linebacker, you can't play linebacker. You have to play edge. That's just what it is. And a backup DT doesn't look horrible. The overall just takes a hit because of awareness. Awareness is 59. I hate that. I hate that as an attribute, bro. It's so stupid. You are pretty bad, though. But you are a backup, so you can be bad. Daddy is green. Also pretty bad, but once again, backup. Might not even make the team. Practice squad player, possibly. Jalen Atkins, not bad. Honestly. Being real honest, not even bad. Davin McCray, very bad. But you're like our power back. I mean, that's what we could use you as. We never really had a power back on this team, so I don't know. Addison Galloway, once again, pretty bad. Backup, practice squad player. Dylan Strong, pretty bad. <laughs> Quan.
Brondre Woodward. Pretty bad, but guess what? We're putting you on the line because you can't cover. You're 67 overall, but, yeah, you look kind of even worse. But hey, that's what it is, bro. You're going to be a backup. You're going to be a backup. You don't got to worry about that. Our last pick was Julian Matthews. Pretty bad, but once again, backup, so you're allowed to be bad. Damn, I got to go back. I want to check some of the draft picks because I'm going to trade for one of them. I am right now. Like that, That's about to happen right now. This just in. Weather beginning to break in Bikini Bottom. And you already know who's outside. A bunch of young bulls. So Miles Franklin was a 77 overall. Hidden dev. And pretty good. He has 87 catching out the gate. This guy looks amazing. We are trading for you. I'm telling you that right now. You are getting traded for. Matthew Long, who I considered taking, but I was like, he's not going to be that good, and he just wasn't that good. Switch for what we wanted. He couldn't cover. Roderick Marshall, who was pretty decent. Can't cover, though, so I did not want you. This is what it is. Pierre Lincoln is a player I kind of wanted, though. We didn't end up getting him, but he doesn't really have... Uh, his cover ability just isn't there. I'm not mad that I didn't get him, but it's like what I wanted him for, he wouldn't even be able to do, so that's not that bad. I'm trying to look at other corners. Or let's look at the four, first quarterback taken off. Really? He had hidden? Jesus, he's already better than what's his name. Uh, that's a little annoying, but all right. I'm going to trade for Miles. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm about to go trade for Miles. It wasn't the Bengals. Who was it? Oh, it was the uh, Broncos. I'm like, what? Now I'm going to check if y'all going to do this trade, which y'all should. Give a first round pick for him. Y'all close. Take all the picks I have. I'm giving you two first-round picks for him. They do it. <laughs> we need him, bro. We really do. Our receiver class right now, oh, my God. We have the best receiver class. Not class, but best receiver group of probably all time. I'm not going to lie to you. Cody McPherson, Zach Ross, Miles Franklin, uh, Doug Fox. The only two people that we, that's like uh, Julian Jackman and James Mendoza, honestly. And those are just going to be our backups just in case injuries happen at this point. I like the way our team is looking. I really do. We're going to go look at it, how it would be set up. Obviously, I'm going to change everything in the debut episode. But for now, this is how things are looking. A little mad my players didn't get dev ups, but hey, that's how it is, I guess. Like, I can't really do much about that. Team is looking way better. Don't know why Cam Gibson is above John Hudges, but we'll fix that later, I guess. Um, But, yeah, it's looking very, very, very good. Uh, Positions we could use upgrades in. I'm really not sure. I even think our cornerback group is very good. Might make a trade to get a better cornerback. I'm not sure about that one yet. But for now, this is all we are um, doing. I think this is going to be the end of So I'm recording for close to two hours now. I am very tired of recording, talking about this. Uh, these are never supposed to be this long, at least recording-wise. But yeah, um, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. Comment who you think is going to be the breakout player. Do you think it was fair in trading my two first-round picks this year and next year for Miles Franklin? If it's not, let me know about that. Those two videos on the screen is going to be a recent video to the left and then a playlist to the right. Watch the series. Like it. Let me know what you think about it. Excited for Madden 23. Let me know. Until next time. Peace.